put away your old Deoc Digivice toys because there is a new cowboy in town. What is up everybody, welcome back to another video, and I really did not think we were going to be talking about Digimon news this soon before Digimon Con on February 27th, which I will be reacting live to by the way on twitch.tv forward slash Khan underscore EX. Digimon has just dropped information that they teased a few days ago on a brand new premium Bandai super complete selection animation D-Arc Digivice. And I just have to talk about this because this is one of the coolest Digimon toys we have seen in quite some time. The super complete selection animation D-Arc comes in red, blue, and green, of course, Takato, Rika, and Henry's colors. And these new Digivices are absolutely gorgeous. They are as screen accurate as I think any Digivice toy has ever been. And they have wonderful full color screens. I was a little bit worried about them when they were first being teased like a couple of days ago by Digimon, because as much as I really liked the D3 complete selection animation, that weird mirrored screen thing just was no good in my opinion. This is much better. This is the most screen accurate Digivice. Because as Digimon Search, because as a Digimon Analyzer, you can actually see Gilmon and all of that animation that you see in Tamers. It's crazy. And the the super complete selection animation versions are actually bigger than the version 15th D arcs as well. It appears to be an LCD screen set inside the Digivice, so it might actually be a square screen, but it looks circular just like in the show. And the quality on this thing is absolutely amazing. Like I say, probably the best looking Digivice toy we've ever had. In addition, each D arc comes with 10 cards. And the way this works is really cool because they are actually scannable with card slash because each card contains an NFC chip to the point where if you scan the blue card, Matrix Evolution actually comes up on the Digivice screen. So this is all really great, but there are a couple of downsides you do need to be aware of. First of all, this is currently premium Bandai Japan only, meaning you will need to find a proxy service willing to import this for you. Something like From Japan, Hobby Link Japan, possibly even Zen and TCG, don't know whether they're doing that yet. The other major thing you need to know is that this is not like a Digimon VB or a conventional Digivice or even VPET toy. The complete selection animation line does not have any of like the adventure modes or any of the step tracking, etc. that you would expect from other VPETs. This is is really just a shiny prop. It's an incredibly screen accurate prop, but do not expect any kind of like gameplay here. It is not a VPET, it is not a Digivice. So if you are interested in getting this, please do bear in mind that it is very much a toy or a prop and not something that you can have actual gameplay with. But if you're a big fan of Digimon Tamers and you like roleplay items like I do, sounds kinky, don't mean it to be. I can see this being appealing, especially at the price point of 14,300 yen, roughly 140 US dollars or about 98 British pounds. It's definitely expensive, but for what it is, that's quite a good deal, even if it is missing those gameplay features features that I would like. Ultimately, I'm very excited by this news. I think it's a great toy, but I kind of am wondering why they didn't drop this during Digimon Con. Perhaps because they wanted those pre-orders to be out and maybe because something even more exciting is coming at Digimon Con. It's very possible. And again, I'm a little bit disappointed if they're going to give it a screen, if they're going to give it NFC card slashing, if they're going to give it buttons that you can interact with, why couldn't it have some kind of adventure mode? Like imagine a full color version of the adventure mode that you can get on these Digivices. That would be so good. So despite what I said in the intro, I don't think this is necessarily a replacement for your existing DRX, but I do think it is a very good good high quality screen accurate replica. But if you're looking for something with more interactivity, get something else, either a Digivice V or an old one of these DRC toys. But hey, let me know what you think of this new Digivice in the description down below. Are you gonna try and get one? Or are you not as interested because there aren't those gameplay features? Let me know all your thoughts and more in the comments down below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Twitch because like I say, I will be covering all this new Digimon news that's gonna be coming out over the next month or so. And I'll see you next time when we go digital. Bye-bye.